Hello, true believers. Oh, excuse me. Take two. Hello, true believers. I haven't had a chance to look up the laws when it comes to slander and oral definition, de defi definition, defamation. But because of brain deads, hold on. Because of brain deads, email. I decided to kind of research it some more and kind of get all the details out about slant, s slander and oral defamation. So I just Googled it real quick and here it is. The, I looked up a law website here. Uh, it looks like, let me see what this, it is uh, Nic Nicholas and De Vega Law Offices Attorney at Law. You know, here's their uh, number, location. So this is a popular subject now, slander and oral defamation. And so I was just reading it and you know, what, what really is slander and defam defamation? So let, let's look at the website. Being the subject of unfair criticism and gossip are matters which aver adversely affect a person from all walks of light. At one point, we have encountered situations wherein we have been victimized by insulting and and defamatory remarks. Oftentimes, we ignore such hurtful and unfounded insinuations. However, when things get out of hand and our reputation is besmirched, I never heard of that, in the process, we need to pursue legal remedies to defend ourselves. Slander or all defamation are, defamation are penalized under the revised penal code as in order to successfully lodge a case for slander. The following elements must be proven. There is an imp so imputation. I, I assume that I've never heard of that word, but I assume that there is a claim, okay, or there is a statement. So let's just say there's an there is a statement or a claim of a crime, vice, defect, act, omission, condition, status, or con circumstances. Okay, so when we're dealing with brain dead here, so number one, check. You're listening to this brain dead, so we're gonna look at the, the laws here. Okay, so these are the five elements it looks like that we need to consider when it comes to slander and oral defamation defamation number one you're guilty already of that number one check number two the imputation or the offense to me specifically is made publicly he put it on his youtube channel with thousands of subscribers for it to watch publicly number two brain dead check number three the imputation must be made maliciously oh enough said Check. Number four, the offense or the imputation is directed against a natural. Whoa, hey, who's that? Oh, that's me. Yes, I'm a natural born citizen here. It must be made against a natural born citizen who, who is alive or who is dead. Number four, brain dead. Check. Number five, the imputation tends to cause dishonor, discredit, or contempt of a person tends to be blackened to the memory when brain dead check just like you said oh you're angry i know you're angry i get it check to dishonor discredit or contempt check so brain dead you check all these now all i have to do is get a copy of that video as the evidence for all these five elements that you committed so if the imputation is made then it's considered a slander. If the imputation is then it's considered a slander. However, if it is made through writing, printing, literary, or radio, or other similar means like YouTube, check. It is punishable as libel. Brain dead guilty of libel. Check. It must be borne in mind the intention of the speaker is immaterial in slander. Uh-oh. It must be borne in mind that the intention of the speaker is immaterial in slander. Hmm. Intention is, yeah. What is relevant is how the same is constructed by ordinary. Moreover, proof of truth is not admissible if the claim pertains to an act or omission not constituting a crime except when it relates to act of government. Boy, they're uh, uh, Hmm. Don't really know what that means. Slander is a serious matter since one can be imprisoned if convicted. Serious slander is punished by imprisonment of arrest may or maximum period in prison correction on a minimum period of four months and one day to two years and four months. While simple slander is punishable by arrest matter 
I, sorry, Ned, you don't fall into this category. So you fall in the regular two years and four months. So that's about the same time that I spent in prison. So that should be, that's fair for also that you should spend two, two and a half years in prison also if this is if this is true which is all true i'm sure everybody in the comments will tell it will agree with me but let me know so i just wanted to kind of catch up on the specifics what is libel and slander over there so with enactment of republic act number 10951 which is yoster brought it up actually that's why i i looked it up which amended various provisions of the revised penal code the fines for, for both serious and simple slander have been revised. Serious slander is now punishable by imprisonment of arrest mayor in, in its maximum period to correctional in its minimum period of four months and one day to two years and one, which is what we and a fine ranging from 20000 to 100000 while simple slander is punishable by arrest mayor in one month or a fine not exceeding. Wow. So you actually qualify for serious slander with your YouTube channel and your, that YouTube video, and it will cost you 20000 to 100000 Let's just, for argument's sake, two years and 100000 It will cost you two years in prison and 100,000 pesos. So you'll know what it feels like and be away from your family for those two years. Maybe, just maybe, that will change your attitude and then maybe you will wise up and think before you open your mouth and put it on your YouTube channel again. So everybody, please let me know what you think of this. If you agree, disagree, is he guilty of those five elements? Do we have a case? Let me know. And someone find me that video so we have it in hand just in case. Anyway, this is Vendetta. Thanks for watching.